He has griped as the regular military has taken credit for the Soldar battle without mentioning his fighters, on Sunday evening the defense ministry, which had not mentioned Wagner in its initial communication claiming to have captured Soldar, issued a second statement seeking to clarify the situation. As for the direct storming of Soldar's city quarters occupied by the armed forces of Ukraine, this combat task was successfully accomplished by the courageous and selfless actions of volunteers from the Wagner assault detachments, it said, new weapons, the new year has brought important pledges of extra western weapons for Ukraine, which is seeking armor to mount mechanized battles against Russian tanks. Major new announcements of weapons are likely next week, when US Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin hosts defense chiefs from other allies at AU's air base in Germany for a meeting of the contact group set up to provide support for Ukraine. Last week, France, Germany, and the United States pledged to send armored fighting vehicles. Discussion in Europe this week have focused on supplying main battle tanks, a major potential upgrade for Kiev. On Sunday, Finland joined Poland in saying it could send German-made Leopard tanks to Ukraine as part of a Western coalition apparently being put together to supply them, that requires the permission of Berlin, which has previously been hesitant but has lately signaled a willingness to allow it. A German government spokesperson said on Friday Berlin had yet to receive any formal request for permission to re-export the tanks, an ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin, Yevgeny Prigazin, who runs the Wagner Group, claimed earlier this week that his mercenary forces, who operate with some degree of coordination with Russian regular troops, had captured Soldar. His claim was quickly challenged by both the Russian and Ukrainian militaries. However, which said the fight continued, the vicious fighting over Soldar and Bakhmut has highlighted a rift between the Russian Defense Ministry's leadership and Prigazin and his private military force, with Putin's shakeup this week of the military brass seen as a bid to show that the ministry still has his support as the troubled conflict nears the 11-month mark. On Saturday the ministry announced unexpectedly that a new commander was being put in charge of the war in Ukraine, which Russian officials refer to only as a special military operation. The move, coming only three months after the previous commander was tapped, was a clear indication of unease in Moscow over the trajectory of